Well, new tonight, LGBTQ youth already experience higher levels of isolation. And those feelings of loneliness have been heightened during this pandemic. And also right now with the Omicron variant spreading, more people may not be able to connect with their loved ones. And as part of our Bridging the Divide series, Alicia Matilla now shows you how local LGBTQ people are finding ways to connect. We have five kids and uh, Bella has always known who Bella was. So when Bella sat mom down privately to tell me that uh, she felt like a girl, it, it, I won't say I expected it because I don't think anyone expects it, but I believed her. Deep inside, Bella knew who she was. My little eight-year-old mind, I thought like, hmm, I would always like to dress up in dresses, wear makeup, wear high heels, but I was never allowed to wear it outside the house. So like in my little, my little eight-year-old mind, I'm like, hmm, maybe if I was a girl, I, my parents would allow me to wear it outside. So like I came up to them and that was one of my reasons, but it just felt natural. Transitioning from a boy to a girl wasn't easy, but the support from her parents carried her through. Uh, Bella was eight and there were no trans friends. We knew that uh, she wasn't being influenced at school. We're really lucky that we knew early on that uh, being supportive was the way to go because we knew that this was authentic from, from her. We trusted her. Now at 15, Bella is a trans girl, proud, accepted, and supported by her family and friends and an advocate for LGBTQ youth rights. Adjusting to life at school during a pandemic is a different challenge. COVID has really been hard because like the social distancing, this is like my first time being back in person. So it's hard to readjust when you're going into ninth grade in the high school. It's a hard place to readjust. Bella found a safe haven and support in Nevada Alliance for Student Diversity, where her mom, Jenna, serves as the co-founder. We are a parent and student organization. Uh, we advocate for uh, gender diverse youth in our schools, as well as provide support for parents and families going through this process and kind of this journey along with their students. Before lockdown, the organization was hosting support groups for youth every Saturday, but the pandemic forced the organization to adjust to a new normal. It's been hitting a lot of my friends hard because they're like the only thing they look forward to is going each Saturday because not a lot of their parents or family members are accepting. So that's like the only place they get to feel accepted most of the time. Life for LGBTQ youth can be challenging. Struggles with loneliness and isolation during the pandemic were hard for some, but Bella and her mom want parents and their kids to know there's hope and a place just for you in the Valley. Just know that there are people out there that will accept you for who you want to be. And if uh, there are any parents out there who need support, who are, who have kids that are questioning their gender or expressing um, expressing gender identity issues, you can always reach out to us. We're at Nevada Alliance for Student Diversity.org. We meet weekly. We'll be meeting weekly on Saturdays beginning in January, and you are more than welcome to come join us, sit in, have your kids come meet other kids who have, uh, who have transitioned or are in the process or are even just questioning, and uh, you're not alone. You're, you are not alone. Las Vegas has a, a huge community that's just waiting to embrace you. Alicia Patillo, 13 Action News.